Alright, it's time for us to play the much-awaited Final Fantasy VII Remake. And before we start, I want to say thank you to Jikoi for providing me with a copy of the game. Uh, isa kang alamat. <laughs> you know, and thank you for watching and liking the videos and sharing the videos on social media for others to see. Uh, we just finished Resident Evil 3 Remake. And I'm thinking about doing bonus content for that, but for now, I also want to get to experience this game. Um, I didn't really get to finish the original. I don't think I made it past the first disc. I know that this is only a fraction of the first disc, so I think I'm going to have some idea of what happens here. But they tell me that a lot of things have also changed and they've expanded on many of the settings and that that's why uh, this is going to take much longer than the original game. I think they're doing... Um, plenty of episodes, I don't know how many years it's gonna take for them to make the entire game of this quality. Now, I played the demo and it was really good, very fast paced, I just don't know how it's going to translate into the later game, uh, you know, when there are more skills to consider and more, more information really when it comes to RPGs, but, you know, it's, it's almost as if we're playing this game for the first time, so yeah, I have, I have high hopes and let's start.
Get down here, Merc. All right, it's time to start after the mandatory long RPG intro. But you know, that was well worth watching. Uh, if anything, Although I don't have that many memories with Final Fantasy VII, I don't think there's any arguing that that opening scene is almost iconic at this point. I mean, Final Fantasy VII, what Final Fantasy, or I guess JRPGs in general, uh, on the map in the West when it released for the PlayStation. So, you know, that was, that was a very, very faithful recreation of the original. If I remember correctly, a lot of YouTube videos are making side-by-side -side comparisons of that cutscene and it's pretty much unchanged except for, you know, the additional detail that they're putting in. Uh, for example, in this in this opening sequence, if I remember correctly, the opening was a bit more violent even though the characters were all like blocky and, you know, and low poly and whatnot. So, you know, a lot more detail here. Obviously, it's Final Fantasy, their graphics powerhouse. You know, the audio design is excellent. You know, I'm, I'm rarely ever moved by, by the music that I hear in video games, but this hits very different. So let's start. Who goes there? You're up. We square to attack with Cloud Sword. Square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. Okay. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. You know, but it's funny. I made two steps. Hands where I can see them. At the start of the game, and I get served a cutscene. Very polarizing subject, but you have to admit the cutscenes in this generation are just very well done. ATB gauge fills as time passes, and by attacking with square, once a bar is full, special actions, charges can be used immediately or saved. Okay. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Circle so to use one of the commands. Okay. So far, same as the demo. Nothing to it. It's done. Open menus. But not the battle. You can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Use options to open the main menu. Touchpad to access the map and check various objectives. Okay. Then we have auto actions. You know, I am recording this Drop game in 720, 720p. Got this. Yeah, what he said. I never really checked what P stands for. Comment down below if you guys know what the P in 720p stands for. But anyway, we are recording in 720p. And really, if you guys are watching this video, that resolution just does not do this game justice. Especially for the cutscenes. You can still kind of see some of the the artifacts and the jagged edges when you're actually playing, but for the cutscenes, it's, it's just a different level. You know, not even early PS4 games look this good. If you play some of the older games, you can kind of see the difference. Even between this and, you know, I hate to compare because they're, they released very closely together, but this and Resident Evil 3 have very different styles, and I think uh, depending on the ways that they optimize the graphics or don't, Optimize them or at least leave them uncompressed. You know, this is very, very detailed and 
just very impressive uh, overall. It's cinematic almost. You know, games have been cinematic for a while, but it's just different when the most recent game comes out. There's always a new bar that's being set. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. <laughs> you guys have been staring at the tutorial for almost a minute. Guarding and evading. So R1 or X to evade. Okay. You're coming with us. Straightforward. Can't get surrounded. Nope. Let's try guarding. Yeah, try harder. Oops. Let's go. Hmm. I think what I'm noticing from the demo, or at least now that the official game is out, Cloud moves much faster than in the demo. I think his standard jog was quite slow. Here things are moving pretty fast, or maybe... Maybe it's the same, but to me it feels slightly different, so... If it did change, I'm happy about it. You find a box with a Shinner logo, press square to smash them with your sword. Okay. So let's those boxes. <laughs> it's cool, you can see Materia slotted into his buster sword. I think that's a unique mechanic for this game. <laughs> so what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this uh uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, real joy to work with, though. Real joy to look at, too. Biggs's voice actor sounds very familiar. I think I'm gonna have to look into that. But if you guys know, let me know. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think. Not interested. What? Wedge. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. You know, just to provide you guys with a bit of game development perspective, you guys notice that in the cutscenes, the characters, uh, the dialogue, sorry, the characters' facial animations match exactly to the words that they're saying, and that is a lot of effort. You have to applaud them for that. Not a lot of games do that. I don't think they even did that in Resident Evil 3 um, with the in game models. Obviously, for cutscenes, they would do that, but. Um, I think just the the effort surrounding that. I don't know how many games have been doing that recently. Uh, f for cutscenes, I, I know a handful of, of games that are doing that. And um, I have seen a few videos online um, of the Japanese version of the game. And the facial animations match the Japanese uh, voice audio. And, and that's a lot of effort. They don't, they don't exactly animate. All of these scenes manually there's there's probably some sort of technology that allows them to to match you know the 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 motion capture for for speech so props to them that's that's very good attention to detail if at least from my perspective that's that's really impressive r3 let's lock on r3 again uh, switch okay. boy Guess you're first. Okay, 
so from the demo same as before you can use L1 for quick shortcuts instead of using circle for the menu so I remember saying before when I was watching the gameplay previews um, during uh, I forgot what event it was I think it was E3 uh, they were showing gameplay for for this uh, and you know I'm thinking this this combat system is, is really the culmination of of 15 mainline titles um, the the ATB the active time battle system that they've been working on for so long they've they've done turn based they've done a bit uh, more of a live approach with Final Fantasy 12 and then there was FF15 I haven't played that game but from what I observed it's it's really more action oriented I think so far or at least from the demo what I've experienced is not so this is a very good way for them to consolidate all of those systems so that you can kind of you know, play more strategically or play it more actively like they're doing now. You know, and it's, it's, I think this is their most exclusive system yet. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but you know, it's so far the most. Uh, impressed I've been with, with Final Fantasy's combat. So long. Then again, it's been a while since I've played the Final Fantasy game. I've been playing some FF12 um, recently during the quarantine, which I hope you guys are all you know, at home, staying safe. Uh, practice social distancing. Sorry, physical distancing. I wouldn't say social distancing from somewhere that you know social distancing is a bit sad when it's it's really mainly the close contact close physical contact that we want to minimize with other people so you know we can always still uh, keep in touch keep talking and interacting with people you know, we just can't be close to them physically so we're just gonna say physical distancing i hope you guys are practicing that Make sure you guys are washing, washing your hands, disinfecting anything that you guys are getting from outside. Yeah. Um, you know, very hopeful that things start to pick up, especially here in the Philippines. No shade, or maybe some shade, but we really could be doing a better job of this. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this. But I'll manage. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. Switching modes. Okay, here it is. Clouds mode shift. Operator mode. Attack oriented punisher mode. It's switched. Okay, so we can guard against melee attacks but not against ranged or magic attacks. If I evade, we'll switch back to operator mode. Okay. That makes sense. We can take it! Make it rain! Yeah, those are not doing anything. I also can't run in this state. Yeah, so I'm not sure what we're doing. Sticking to that mode, they just keep shooting at me. Nobody wants to do a melee attack, so I'm just gonna end it really quickly. Also because I need to heal. All good. Now, but you're good. 
Let me heal again, just to be sure. Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. I got this place covered. Yeah, okay, this this running animation, his sprint well, is much for? faster than in the demo. This one I'm I'm more confident they, they changed from the demo well, so that they can give it a faster pace. Uh okay, I think I need to talk to her. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> I got this place covered. The animations so far have been excellent. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I. <sighs> I'm just gonna squeeze in really quickly. I hope you guys. Uh, bear with me. I try not to talk during cutscenes so that you guys can absorb the story. The uh, but let me know if that's okay. Sir. Especially for RPGs. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up, Marco. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> huh? Say that again! <sighs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Barrett specializes in ranged attacks, holding on square. Thing, automatic fire. Nah, nah. Gonna throw your okay. sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. <laughs> These tin cans ain't got nothing on me.
unique ability overcharge triangle heavy hitting attack na na takes not na na recharge okay now for the real show come on still so I can press triangle to be charge. Okay. Switch different characters. So arrow keys to switch characters or L2 or R2 to issue commands to allies. <laughs> That's cute. That's a cute little callback. Look what we have here. I'm not so sure how I feel about Barrett's playstyle yet. I feel like for for a gun that big, he's not packing that much power. Or I guess I'm just a little impatient with how overcharge takes a few tries uh, before it fills up again. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! Quickly move around by holding R1 or R2 to dash. You can press L3 once to keep dashing until you stop moving. Okay. You're doing good! So far, pretty straightforward. A little drawn out because we are getting a lot of cutscenes. More, way more cutscenes than what we get from the original. I guess with with the higher, higher fidelity graphics, uh, you're not gonna want to pass that up. That was. <laughs> I hit the lasers <laughs> quite a lot. Wasn't quite used to the timing. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Look, they don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe sweepers. out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. <laughs> that's cute. I only notice now that those things have what resemble eyes uh, in front. It, it didn't show up for that long, but if you guys pause the video, I think you'll notice it. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? Yeah, I think I want to stick to Cloud for the most part. No holding back. Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressure will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens, spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge once it's full. And, uh, gauge fell faster depending on abilities and magic used as well as the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective attack to quickly finish off. Hey! It's not moved! Let's put it down! Okay, so we wanna got. charge our ATB gauge. Keep it together. Switch to Barret. No, 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 magic. Of course. It just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. I'm waiting. Staggered, so they're defenseless, take more damage. Unique abilities will quickly boost your ATB gauge. Boost your ATB gauge quickly so you can unleash more. Using unique abilities. Huh. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Gotcha. Finish it. Say your prayer. Let's get the weakness here. Yeah. 
Machines are still weak to thunder damage for some reason. I guess because it's too much power? Science. You know, there's a lot of dialogue happening in game and also a lot of cutscenes, so. Don't know how much commentary I can provide unless I start talking over it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, how we can balance that. But anyway, uh, we'll see. Like, I mainly want to keep providing commentary if we were doing, say, a live stream. But for That's commentary, the reactor core. or at least for walkthroughs, at we at, at least want people to be able to observe as much of the game, the gameplay, and the cutscenes. Uh, as possible. God damn. I can practically taste it. So I'm not sure if anybody missed out on that, but if you're climbing the ladders, you can use the sprint button to go faster. I remember the first time we played this demo in the office, we were all complaining about how long it was taking to climb up and down the ladders during the demo. And then when it was my turn to play, I, I think it was the second or third to play. We attempted the sprint and it turns out that you can do that so make sure you guys take note otherwise you're gonna be, you're gonna end up frustrated because it takes a while I think, I, I think we've seen more cutscenes that we than we played the actual game so far, which isn't a bad thing. Not completely. I don't know when it's going to be too much. I kind of really just want to mess with the battle system a lot more. I'm still, still impressed with with how they're handling it. I haven't seen anything that I need to take issue with yet. So until then, so far, Let's do this. enjoying this. All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! the timer you will call Merc 20 or 30 minutes this kind of reminds me of one of the the opening sequences in FF8 as well I believe that has an effect I'm not sure if I have one here but I mean pretty cocky ain't you shorter time should still be possible right Heads up. What in the hell? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plated. Okay, one thing I have to point out is lightning magic. When we're not in combat, find it kind of unfortunate that it always cycles back to cloud. Not sure if we ever play the game without Cloud in the party. Yeah, 
being bound. Some enemies occasionally bind your party members with unblockable attacks. Switch to different character. You want to say. Okay. Funny way to ask for help. Kind of wish that I could run around as a different character. So we'll see later on. Keep it up. It's on you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just realized I'm not talking that much because I'm I'm quite absorbed in this combat system. There have been opinions, but so far nothing to complain about. I think I've said that twice or thrice in this video already. Never seen this defense system before. Sir, thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? Okay, so we can dodge it. It's time to shine. <laughs> or go down in flames. Oops. Okay, there is a weak spot. At the back. Bingo! Focus on that core. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he remembers. Don't you be waiting in suspense next time. Let's have Let's have Barret use this. Um no, I think we just focus on gotta heal up. Breaking the back plate first. Don't just stand there. Help me out, damn it! Take the lead. Oh, if we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both! Less talking, more shooting. How about less lift from you? You got this! Mm. So long. Now, hit it hard and fast. Oh, you're in for it now! Just shoot! Oops. Bring in the heat. Uh-oh. Can keep going if I heal up. Hmm. Being in all the You're up. Being interrupted a lot. Not sure I enjoy that. I think that's one thing to miss when it was the full turn base system from before. Don't overdo it. I go down by the goddamn scorpion. Damn it! This thing is tough! It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion! Okay, never mind. Turn the round, so that's not a very good idea. Hmm. This is taking a while. I mean, for a first boss, this is. I mean, I get it. It's a, bo it's a boss, but. I'm not sure Now's how I chance. feel about Give it everything the you've got. so far. You got this. My turn. Oh. Damn it. Need to heal up soon. So low. Another barrier? 
think it has a third barrier. It's the third barrier so far. Not good. Patch yourself up. It's on you. Kind of confused. I'm not sure what I should be doing. I do know I need to break the barrier. Limit breaks. Oh, okay. No ATB charges to use these attacks. I am low on health, so... I think we want to get the heal. Oh no. Uh. Oh, cutscene. Yo, we're getting interrupted quite a lot. Watch the tail. You don't want to kind of scared for what that's going to do. For the Don't limit breaks, I Take hope they can't be interrupted. But for now, let's heal Cloud while we're at the back. I got this. Looks like we can attack. Get in there and do some damage. That barely did anything. There's not a lot of time to avoid those attacks. Stagger bar, I suppose. You think I, care about a few cuts and I should really learn how to block the attacks. Attacking Barret, so let's go. Now, get in you. there and do some damage. Oh, yeah! Time for some hardcore payback. Going all out. Yeah. Eh? I was doing an attack, and then the cutscene interrupted me again. Hmm. Not sure I quite understand everything yet. Hmm. Gotta time our attacks just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. Ain't gotta tell me 
safe wife. Brace yourself. You're done. Okay. Staggered again. So long. Keep it up. This is bad. Could keep going if I okay. Did we win? I think we won. Did we win? Yeah, I think we... If I remember the demo correctly, this should be the end of the boss battle. Showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. All right. Go, go, go. I have to admit, there are still parts of the combat system that are confusing to me. But it looks like the way that this works is that there is. There is more of a real-time reactionary aspect to it, so if the enemy is going to attack, if it's going to interrupt you, then it will. So I guess that's one sacrifice they had to accept, transitioning from the turn-based ATV system to more of this combined one. I mean, I can issue commands and it's and slow down. Looks good, looks flashy, but... Starting to think there could be some polar opinions about this. Nothing to it. Anyway, we'll see. So I I don't think we've fought enough battles to really form an opinion yet. You know, but it's not, it's not. I'm not gonna say we're at 100%. It's almost like a live review, but. Yeah, a few points off for. I guess just how many cutscenes there are compared to gameplay, and then. Yeah, some confusion about the battle system. It's not. It's actually not as straightforward as I thought it would be compared to what I was seeing in the gameplay previews, but I mean. I guess they curate the content that goes in those Come previews, so it's this meant to look to as America. easy and as Probably. intuitive as possible, but I'm not getting the full grasp just yet. I'm not sure if it's me or something that's up with design. So let's see, once we introduce more skills, I guess, and more enemy types. So far it's, it's mostly the same and I can really just spam everything. The main challenge has really been the timing and figuring out whether or not I can actually avoid attacks. We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. Also, please remind me that I need to either block or dodge attacks. Okay. So that was fast. So far everything is pretty linear. I understand this is the intro, but maybe I'm just impatient. More 
thunder damage. Takes off the magic. Let's put the pressure on this guy. Stagger. Nice. Must have missed it. Covered MP, Mogo Medal. Huh, Mogo Medal. That's a new term, I'm not sure what that does. Does this game have... Is the game going to have save points? I'm not... I'm not sure what the implementation is yet. So I have the main menu. Save or load. Okay, so... Looks like I can save at any point. I think we're gonna cut here. We're already past the 50 minute mark. So we'll just make this the intro. And I'm also kind of sleepy. You know, not because the game is boring, it's just that I'm playing this at 10.30 in the evening and I still have work tomorrow, so... Yeah, I think we're good for today. Uh, again, guys, uh, stay safe in your homes. Let's hope for the best. Uh, stay productive and... Yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this. Like and subscribe, leave some comments, let me know what you guys think of the game so far. Um, you know, if we get... A lot of likes then that will tell me that you guys will want more of this content so I'll try to upload it much faster I'm thinking of doing like a slightly slower pace than what I did with RE3 uh, mainly because I do have a lot of other things to do so you know let me know how, how quickly you guys think I should be putting this up so yeah thank you for watching